Song of Myself by Walt Whitman Read by Alan Davis Drake The pure contralto sings in the organ loft. The carpenter dresses his plank. The tongue of his foreplane whistles its wild ascending lisp. The married and unmarried children ride home to their Thanksgiving dinner. The pilot seizes the kingpin. He heaves down with a strong arm. The mate stands braced in the whaleboat. Lance and harpoon are ready. The duck shooter walks by, silent and cautious stretches. The deacons are ordained with crossed hands at the altar. The spinning girl retreats and advances to the hum of the big wheel. The farmer stops by the bars as he walks on a Friday loaf and looks at the oats and rye. The lunatic is carried at last to the asylum, a confirmed case. He will never sleep any more as he did in the cot in his mother's bedroom. The juror printer with gray head and gaunt jaws works at his case. He turns his quid of tobacco while his eyes blur with the manuscript. The malformed limbs are tied to the surgeon's table. What is removed drops horribly in a pail. The quadroon girl is sold at the auction stand. The drunkard nods by the barroom stove. The machinist rolls up his sleeves. The policeman travels his beat. The gatekeeper marks who pass. The young fellow drives the express wagon. I love him, though I do not know him. The half-breed straps on his light boots to compete in the race. The western turkey shooting draws old and young. Some lean on their rifles, some sit on logs. Out from the crowds steps the marksman takes his position, levels his piece. The groups of new-come immigrants cover the wharf or levee. As the woolly pates hoe in the sugar field, the overseer views them from his saddle. The bugle calls in the ballroom. The gentlemen run for their partners. The dancers bow to each other. The youth lies awake in the cedar-roofed garret and harks to the musical rain. The wolverine sets traps on the creek that helps fill the Huron. The squaw, wrapped in her yellow-hemmed cloth, is offering moccasins and bead bags for sale. The connoisseur peers along the exhibition gallery, with half-shut eyes bent sideways. As the deckhands make fast the steamboat, the plank is thrown for the shore-going passengers. The young sister holds out the skein while the elder sister winds it off in a ball and stops now and then for the knots. The one-year wife is recovering and happy, having a week ago born her first child. The clean-haired Yankee girl works with her sewing machine or in the factory or mill. The paving man leans on his two-handed rammer. The reporter's lead flies swiftly over the notebook. The sign painter is lettering with blue and gold. The canal boy trots on the towpath. The bookkeeper counts at his desk. The shoemaker waxes his thread. The conductor beats time for the band, and all the performers follow him. The child is baptized. The convert is making his first profession. The regatta is spread on the bay. The race is begun. How the white sails sparkle. The drover watches his drove, sings out to them that would stray. The peddler sweats with his pack on his back, the purchaser higgling about the odd scent. The bride unrumples her white dress. The minute hand of the clock moves slowly. The opium eater reclines with rigid head and just opened lips. The prostitute draggles her shawl. Her bonnet bobs on her tipsy and pimpled neck. The crowd laugh at her blackguard oaths. The men jeer and wink to each other. Miserable. I do not laugh at your oaths, nor jeer you. 
the president holding a cabinet council is surrounded by the great secretaries on the piazza walk three matrons stately and friendly with twined arms the crew of the fish smack pack repeated layers of halibut in the hold the missourian crosses the plains toting his wares and his cattle as the fair collector goes through the train he gives notices by the jingling of loose change the floor men are laying the floor the tinners are tinning the roof the masons are calling for mortar in single file each shouldering his hod pass onward the laborers seasons pursuing each other the indescribable crowd is gathered it is the fourth of seventh month what salutes of cannon and small arms seasons pursuing each other the plower ploughs the mower mows and the winter grain falls in the ground off on the lakes the pike fisher watches and waits by the hole in the frozen surface the stumps stand thick round the clearing the squatter strikes deep with his axe float boatmen make fast towards dusk near the cottonwood or pecan trees coon seekers go through the regions of the red river or through those drained by the tennessee or through those of the arkansas torches shine in the dark that hangs on the chattahoochee or the altamaha patriarchs sit at supper with sons and grandsons and great-grandsons around them in walls of adobe in canvas tents rest hunters and trappers after their day's sport the city sleeps and the country sleeps the living sleep for their time the dead sleep for their time the old husband sleeps by his wife and the young husband sleeps by his wife and these tend inward to me and i tend outward to them and such as it is to be of these more or less i am and of these one and all i weave the song of myself end of poem this recording is in the public domain.